Most people think of big explosions, but that's not a likely event. In fact, most people are unaware of the potential dangers associated with hydrothermal explosions, which are far more common than lava or volcanic ash eruptions. Hydrothermal explosions are violent and dramatic events that result in rapid ejections of boiling water, steam, mud, and rock fragments. The explosions can reach heights of 2 kilometers and leave craters ranging from a few meters to more than 2 kilometers in diameter. The ejected material, mostly breccia, angular rock cemented by clay, can be found as far as 3 to 4 kilometers from the largest craters. Hydrothermal explosions occur when a shallow, interconnected reservoir of fluid with temperatures at or near the boiling point underlies a thermal field. This fluid can rapidly transition to vapor if the pressure is suddenly reduced. Because vapor molecules take up much more space than liquid molecules, the transition to vapor results in significant expansion shattering the surrounding rock and ejecting debris. Hydrothermal eruptions have the potential to pose significant local hazards and can damage or even destroy thermal features. In Yellowstone, hydrothermal eruptions occur within the Yellowstone caldera and along the active Norris Mammoth Tectonic Corridor. Large hydrothermal eruptions occur on average every 700 years, and at least 25 explosion craters greater than 100 meters across have been identified. The scale of these craters is much smaller than that of other geothermal areas in the world. Large hydrothermal eruptions in Yellowstone occurred after an ice sheet more than 1 kilometer thick retreated from the Yellowstone Plateau about 14,000 to 16,000 years ago. Essential components for the development of large hydrothermal systems require high heat flow, abundant water. The Yellowstone Plateau receives about 180 centimeters of precipitation annually, and seismicity. Yellowstone experiences 1,000 to 3,000 earthquakes per year to maintain open fractures. Active deformation of the Yellowstone caldera and seasonal changes also contribute. Hydrothermal systems with explosive potential have a water-saturated system at or near boiling temperatures and a well-developed system of joints and fractures that are interconnected along which hydrothermal fluids flow. Rising hydrothermal fluids flow along fractures that develop due to repeated inflation and deflation of the caldera, which causes the rock to break, and along the margins of low permeability rhyolitic lava flows. The size and location of hydrothermal fields may be limited by excessive rock alteration and the development of clay minerals that can form cap rocks and seal the system. If part of the system is sealed, a sudden or abrupt drop in pressure will cause the water to convert to steam, which is rapidly channeled through interconnected fractures. The result is a series of repeated explosions and crater excavations. The similarity between the size and dimensions of large hydrothermal explosion craters and the thermal field at Yellowstone suggests that such events may represent a late stage in the evolution of a geyser basin. Although large hydrothermal explosions are rare on human timescales, the potential for such an event in Yellowstone National Park in the future is not insignificant. Based on the occurrence of large hydrothermal eruptions over the last 16,000 years, 
An explosion large enough to create a 100 meters wide crater probably occurs every few hundred years.